Hello, my friends, and welcome to the 1970s Italian Supercar Beauty Challenge, or Italian Beauty Challenge, to be exact with you. So, my friends, a week went by, and it was actually a quick week for me. And uh, I had so much fun reviewing all of your cars. Uh, some of your cars were absolutely amazing. Some of them were, I'm not going to say badly made. I'm going to say, you know, a little bit dull. And uh, some of you got uh, disqualified, unfortunately. The link in the description Sorry, not the link, the list in the description if you want to check out the disqualified cars and why they have uh, they got disqualified, unfortunately. But 20 cars are in and all of those 20 cars are just beautiful to look at, has the highest total category points. And I'm sure that those 20 cars are one of the quickest cars in, uh, of course, in this challenge. So, of course, I'm going to be testing them, of course, on the automation test track, of course, on the uh, on the short circuit, because these are 1970s Italian supercars and as we all know italian supercars from the 70 exactly to be exact are not only the most reliable ones i mean i i'm this is the prize car and i made it myself and i'm not really sure if the head gaskets on the engine can actually last like two or three laps but who knows maybe the, maybe this car will be reliable maybe not who knows so as you can see this is the monaco which is the prize for this challenge you may you may recognize this car to be a little bit different from the from the car that i made the rules video in because this is the Mark II. This is the Mark II Monaco, which is, of course, the super version. The super version, of, as you can see, has different headlights, different grill, has uh, more fixtures, more details on it. And, of course, we have, if you can spot this on the roof, this is a Ram cold air intake to feed the engine, to feed cold air to the engine, which is in the back, of course, or in, to be exact, it's in the middle of the car. It's a mid-engine car, but as you can see, it's a little bit further to the, to the back. This thing has a three and a half liter V12 engine and it's supercharged. Yes, my friend, this thing is running uh, a root supercharger on top uh, on, on that three and a half liter V12, making 350 horsepower. It's rear wheel drive. It has five speed manual gearbox. The suspension is tuned much better than, than the Mark 1. It has better brakes, better aer aerodynamics, and it's still within spec. The engine is still running on 92 uh, leaded octane fuel. If the engine is still uh, within spec, nothing is broken, and everything is just absolutely tremendous. So, of course, after you finish watching uh, all the all the 20 cars being driven hard on that track, head to my head to my uh, community tab so you can vote on the prettiest viewer-made car or the prettiest participant in the in this challenge. Only to the only the, the top five. Where I'm gonna pick, pick the top five beautiful cars here, and you will be seeing their names. In the uh, in the vote on the community tab so vote for it so of course it will win the the prettiest car prize let's have fun driving your cars and of course let's head to the track all right let's hit the track All right, so the first car that we're going to start with, it's called the Alpha. Uh, this thing has scored 266.7 total category points. And this thing has, let's say, a 237 horsepower, 3.5 liter V6 engine with mechanical fuel injection and 5.9 seconds from 0 to 100, which is absolutely amazing, actually. It's, it's, it's a quick car. All right, so uh, this is how this thing looks, as you can see. It has some minor and, and awesome details at the same time as you can see it's pretty simple pretty elegant the front is just beautiful no pop-up no pop-up headlamps which i think which is a, a very very important thing in the 70s but it's it's still cool it still has a very very nice front end the rear the rear is also pretty nice twin exhaust look at those vents on top of the engine pretty awesome all right so let's see how this thing will actually perform we are on the short circuit of course Mm, acceleration is cool actually, decent. First corner, nice, not bad. Not bad at all. We have a we have a front antenna. Oh this V6 actually sounds nice. Mm, nice. Brakes. Yeah, not really impressive, but uh, it's still. Oh, 
so far so good yep don't worry i'm gonna click this corner at every car because it's easier so far so good i'm i'm genuinely impressed this thing actually uh, drives really nice come on home stretch one minute 16 wow that's impressive that is really really impressive a very 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 nice start we have from this car the alpha the alpha something something con concerto i think so yeah it's a very very nice de and decent uh, of course car this thing corners really, really nicely the engine works the gearbox ratios are perfect suspension is also amazing the brakes are a little bit twitchy but in general this is a nice nice car to drive and a very very awesome start all right let's see uh, the next car and see how that thing will perform okay so the first the second vehicle sorry the second vehicle that we are going to test is called the apogee apogee i think her uh, homage H O M M A G E homage, homage, something like this. This thing has scored 260.7 total category points from its 244 horsepower, 4 liter V8. As you can hear, it's uh, it's a flat plane V8, of course. This is Italy, and uh, it's running carburetors on top and 4.6 seconds from zero to 100. That's a very, very, very awesome, uh, you know, time from zero to 100. Now the starting of it, as you can see looks very awesome as you can see look at that details look at the front grille headlights two lines on top of the hood and the v8 badge on the side and um, yeah this i think this is a little bit a little bit too modern door handle but yeah still not bad uh, the engine of course it's uh, rear mounted i think ish or maybe mid mounted i think it's rear mounted and look at those two four barrel carburetors looking very awesome rear vent quad exhaust tips yeah. My start. bad so far feels balanced feels very very comfy Love, loves to understeer a little bit but in general it's not bad brakes are a little bit sketchy yeah and then i'm gonna click this corner with every car so don't worry about that One minute 15.8 that's not bad one minute 15.8 that's really really good which is absolutely awesome as you can see one minute 15.4 so far that's the that's that's the super car that's the, you know that's the monaco super so far the the quickest viewer made car is the apogee which is really awesome let's see which car will actually beat the 115.4 which is the uh which is the monaco's monaco super all right let's select the third car and see how that thing will perform all right so the next car is called the drc Con continent continental continentale i don't know what what's that in italian gti that's the name of it so this thing has scored 276.2 total category points from its 287 horsepower 4.1 liter v12 engine running mechanical fuel injection and 4.4 seconds from 0 to 100 now that's a quick with time uh, as you can see the design of it as you can see looks uh, pretty elegant and simple at the same time look at those beautiful headlights with their own special chromy housing front grille indicators it's a two-door coupe so as you can see looks very elegant there's like a, a vent back there some chromy details there and there and uh, yeah it's actually looking very very nice all right so let's see how this v12 thing will actually run Wow, that sounds very angry. So in a straight line, it's going to be quick. As you can see, this thing loves to 
spin. No, not oversteer, spin. Yeah, it's not really grippy, so yeah, it loves to understeer a little bit. But in a straight line, this thing will fly. Ah, the brakes are good. Oh, good brakes. This thing shifts. So it's a fun car. Yeah, it's a it's a very 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 fun car to drive. Has the power, has the looks, but it's not going to be as quickly as other track cars. I mean, look at that. Come on, power. 15, 16, 16.6. All right, not bad. So the power is really really good, but the suspension tune or maybe, or maybe the tires are letting the, all the horsepower down. But in a straight line, this thing will actually fly. So it's a nice nice effort, very very nice creation, my friend. Good work. All right, let's move on with the next. Vehicle. Okay, so the next vehicle it's called the DVD Eurostar. Eurostar. There is no R at the end, so Eurostar only. DSR that's the name of it this thing has scored 262.8 total category points from its 266 horsepower three and a half liter inline five engine with of course mechanical fuel injection and 5.7 seconds from zero to 100 not bad not bad at all all right now the styling of it as you can see we have pop-up headlights some uh, some plastic bits there and there indicators two tiny vents up front and let's see two tiny vents are on the top wipers side i don't know testerosa something ferrari-ish side vent which is really cool but it's not i mean look at that i mean what i really love about this vent that it looks very 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 italian but unfortunately uh, when you put it at that but at that size look at the line of the door the line of the door just disappear i mean where's the door there's no door only this will open can you imagine this is the size only of the door this is it Wow, that's going to be very, very tiny and very, very difficult to climb in. But yeah, so we have vents back there. The uh, look at that see-through engine vent or engine grill, whatever. Look at that fuel filler cap back there. Awesome. So let's see. Simple exhaust pipe. Hmm, nice. I mean, inline five. I don't know. Inline five sounds really good. But, I don't know, 70s, Italian, no, I don't know. Doesn't really sound like, look at me, I'm an Italian flamboyant supercar from the 70s. No, in line time. In line 4, maybe. In line 6, maybe-ish. V12, oh yeah, of course. V12, flat plane, yeah. In line 5. Can tell me that in the comment section what do you think about or is there actually in, in real life like a 1970s italian supercar with a five cylinder engine in line five i would love to know that in the comment section so as you can see that this in line five it's not bad it's actually torquey this engine is actually pushing nice amount of horsepower very very very, very balanced horsepower and very nice amount of torque as you can see tires are rubbish this thing loves to understeer, maybe the suspension too, but uh, in general it's not bad. Look at that, 1 minute 17.7, nice, 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 it's not the it's not the slowest one here, but it's definitely one of the fun car to drive, I mean that 5 cylinder is actually very, very, very nice engine, I mean really nice, torquey, powerful, this thing in a straight line will actually also fly, so very, very, very nice effort. All right, let's move on with the next. Vehicle. All right, so the next vehicle, it's called, I don't know, for the, the Fornasare, Fornasare, I think in Italian or something like something close to that. Fornasare 330S, that's the name of it. This thing has scored 267.1 total category points from its 320 horsepower. Wow, six liter V12, that's a massive engine. That means tons of torque. 
uh, mechanical fuel injection 6.4 seconds from 0 to 100 now that is a massive engine now the design of it as you can see is looking absolutely awesome you may have seen this car uh, on the i think on the live stream the, the the previous live stream that i did and this thing drove actually very 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 nicely look at that and the styling of it just beautiful aerodynamical features there and there the badging the attention to detail is just absolutely amazing really really awesome uh, let's hope that engine or let's help let's hope nothing has changed since the last time that i drove it all right give me some torque yeah look at that spinning the tires because of the torque long gears and a very very torquey engine that means oh my goodness oh sorry about that No, something definitely changed. Something definitely changed. I mean, I love the torque of the engine, but it's... I don't know if it's too much, or maybe something's wrong with automation game, or the image of the Look at that. Put hard down. Yeah, the suspension feels wobbly, losing traction, or maybe a tire is just lifting off the ground or something. I don't know. There's something definitely wrong with it. I apologize if it's if, if this problem is caused by me or my driving, but as you can see, the I mean, around the corners, this thing. Oh, oh, that was scary. Sorry about that, but as you can see, it's, it's the slowest one here. Sorry, my friend, but I mean, your car is awesome. Looks very, very, very good, but there is something catastrophically wrong with the suspension or something. I mean, you, as you have seen, this car is, I mean, I mean, it's well, it feels very, very wallowy. Uh, the, the the tires are losing traction because it's open differential, and with this, when the suspension is not really right. Uh, that a tire is spinning. Let's see, for example, a tire, the right tire is spinning. Then I don't know what's happened with the suspension. Then the left one starts spinning. Then the right one, the left one, and it doesn't really feel realistic. It feels like something is definitely broken with the rear differential or with the suspension. Like if, if, if the shock absorbers are destroyed, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe maybe it's a maybe it's a BMG bug or automation bug. I'm not really sure. But I dropped this thing before and it was absolutely tremendous on the live stream, I guess. So, uh, all right. Um, I apologize again for the time, but yeah. All right, let's move on to the next. All right, so the next vehicle, it's called the Guziri Luso Volare. Volare, I think. So that's the name of it. This thing has scored 264.1 total category points from its 188 horsepower, 3.2 liter V6 engine running with mechanical fuel injection and 6.8 seconds from 0 to 100. All right, so... That's the design of it, as you can see. It looks pretty elegant, pretty basic. There is nothing really special going on about it. I love those lines. I mean, these lines takes very, very long effort to make in an automation game. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a Corvette-ish. -ish. I mean, look at the rear uh, with those things on the on the trunk and those tail lines. I mean, I, I don't know. It looks like a little bit-ish, Corvette-ish. I don't know, from, from that era. From the front, looks like, I don't know, a unique car. Uh, Alright, so let's see how the Guzir will actually do. A couple a couple of notes before I start. 188 horsepower from a 3.2 liter V6. I mean, with mechanical fuel injection and unleaded fuel. Uh, sorry, I was, uh, unleaded, leaded fuel. That, that means no catalytic converters. I'm, I, I was expecting it at, at least 200 horsepower, but 188 seems too little. Alright, let's see. I mean, there's not much horsepower to play around so this thing will be should should be grippy and fun to drive ish oh this thing loves to to spin and drift oh come on straight straight up in a slow mode that that would look cool All right, brake test. Not bad. Suspension is a little bit too, to the oversteer size. It's not really 
impressive. I mean, I'm not, I'm not asking you to make me a drift car. I'm asking you to make me a, an Italian sport car. I mean, I know that Lamborghinis are like a death trap back then. I'm not talking about the Miura. I'm talking, for example, like for example, the 80s, like the Countach, the 90s, the Diablo. Oh, the, oh I know that the, the Diablo was a death trap, but it was very difficult to drive. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at this one. This one is only 188 horsepower, but because of the suspension tune, tires, gearbox ratios, once just to spin around and drift. Yeah, and 122. Yeah, that, that's the result of that. 122. It's not the slowest one here, but yeah, that's not really what you call enjoyable. It's a little bit sketchy and scary. And it's, for example, if you are hill climbing with this car, if you are even if you are going downhill and you want to corner and uh, to have fun around corners, no, this is not the right car to do it. I apologize for the Gazuri creator, but this is a, dr a an Italian drift car, not an Italian. I mean, it's a beautiful supercar. I mean, it looks good, but it's not, not driving good, unfortunately. Better good luck, my friend, and, be and better luck next time. All right, let's move on to the next car. All right, so the next vehicle, according to my book, it's called the JMF. JMF, I don't know, Fran Franci Franci Franciose? Fran Francios? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce Italian, but yeah, Itali JM JMF. France, France LS, I'm gonna have that, that's, that's what I'm gonna call it. 262.7 total category points from its 220 horsepower, uh, 3.5 liter V12, mechanical fuel injection, and 7 seconds from 0 to 100. That's a slow time actually from 0 to 100. I think the creator wants to make, give it long gears to prevent tons of wheel spin, but who knows how this thing will drive. So the design of it, as you can see, looks uh, also very elegant, very basic. Look at that massive. Uh, you know, bonnet scoop or whatever they call it. Uh, very beautiful and square looking headlights, which look too modern for the 70s. It's 80s ish, who knows, but it looks good. Uh, the rims are beautiful. The side is just elegant and cool. Look at that indicator on the side, it looks very classy. The rear is also very nice. The badging, the taillights, the, I mean, the exhaust, everything is looking very, very elegant. It's like, it's like, it's like this car is ready to be in James uh, James Bond next movie, especially the rear. Yeah. All right. So let's see how this thing will actually perform from this angle. Look at this. Look at this. If you actually focus with me at, at this point, at this angle, looks like a Mustang GT500. You know the classic one, the Elnor. From this from this angle, I'm talking about the roof, these lines here. Yeah, it looks super close to it. I mean, if, if, if this thing has like Shelby striping the correct taillights and exhaust or you will be driving a gt500 but yeah from the front no it looks very super super different but the rear just from this angle very very close all right let's start and see how this v12 will actually perform nice smoky acceleration yeah as, as you have seen yeah long gears like first gear can go all the way to 100 kilometers per hour I mean, that's good to prevent wheel spin, but around corners it will create problems because you have to stay in that gear for long. And if you are pushing the throttle, like smashing it, it will actually spin out. Or at least the car will just oversteer because of the torque and because of the long gear. Look at that. First gear. Brakes are actually good. Look at that first gear. All the way to 98 or 100 at least. Look at that, there's no need to shift to first because you, have to, you can stay in second because it's a long gear. It's grippy actually. I mean, I know this thing loves to lose control, but the tires are actually grips, which is really good. You can turn much better than previous cars. But it's not going to be the fastest one here. Because of the gear ratio, of course. As you can see, 1 minute, 1 two. It's not bad. This thing drives nicely. As a road car, this thing will be very, very, very awesome. But on the track, because of its long gears, it's not really what you call enjoyable to drive. But it's a very, very, very nice effort. Good work, my friend, indeed. All right, let's move on with the next vehicle. All right, so the next car is called the Condor. 
Tore Monza, that's the name of it. This thing has scored 272.3 total category points from its uh, 202 horsepower 3 liter V6 engine, make, with of course with me mechanical fuel injection and six and a half seconds from zero to 100. Now, the styling of it, as you can see, looks pretty basic. Not super basic that, you know, that will get disqualified, but of course it looks, I mean, the, the most basic car here in this challenge because a lot of a lot of really, really basic cars got disqualified because of their basic boring looks. But this one looked a little bit, you know, real, like those, look at those real taillights with that black panel behind them. Uh, the exhaust, those lines on the, the, on the bumper, the vents. I mean, it looked real, basic but real unlike other cars unfortunately in this challenge which got disqualified for being absolutely bone basic which is really and i'm sorry to say this but really really boring i apologize my friends for the cars that got disqualified because of their basic but you need to practice more on making and uh, designing you know a beautiful looking car because this challenge is all about beautiful cars not not about the quickest car or the most hardcore racing machine no i mean i know the winner of this car the winner of this challenge is the fastest car but also i'm gonna give the, the same prize for the, of course the prettiest car here yeah so mr condor you actually you actually got away with it i mean this time but feel for future challenges please make sure your car is just more beautiful and you know more realistic more real than this one but good work nice effort all right, let's fire it up and see how this thing will perform. Acceleration, not bad. Cornering is very nice. This thing corners nicely so far. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, it feels it's tight, it feels balanced, which is really really cool. Really really awesome. Yeah, the brakes, not bad. Not really great, but not bad as well. The gear ratios are I think perfect for this engine. Engine sounds uh, decent, not super loud. Car looks basic. I mean, the, it, it, this car is like the basic package, the basic package for a for an Italian sports car. It's it's like the base model of an Italian supercar, which is really awesome. All right, here we go, the final stretch. All right, looking very very good. Ooh, very 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 nice. One minute sixteen point five look at that so this thing is actually a decent car as i've mentioned this thing feels very very balanced it's not bad at all i mean it looks it looks basic the engine is just a basic engine feels like a basic car but and as you can see it performs nearly in the middle which is one minute 16.5 it's like the average car the average super car from the 80s which is really cool i like it i do really like it but if I want to keep this car, uh, you know, in my game, I have to make some modifications on the body, the gearbox, the chassis, the uh, the engine, the gearbox. All, all these things will remain as Mr. Condor, you know, decided to create them. But the body needs some work to make it a little bit more exciting to look at. But in general, good effort, really nice effort. All right, let's move on with the next vehicle. All right, so the next vehicle, it's called the uh, what is it? It's because it has a very very unique name. The, the, the Lotesia, I don't know, the Lotesia Min Minerova GTO. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly or not, but this thing is just the money. Because this thing has scored 263.5 total category points, 189 horsepower, 2 liter V8. So it's a, it's a compact V8, DCOE carburetors, and 7.7 .7 seconds from 0 to 100. Now, on paper, this thing actually doesn't really seem that exciting, but look at it, because the design of it is just magnificent. Look at the details, the front lip, the square lights, and look at those vents on the... on the. This is a trunk, this is not actually a hood, because it's in the front. Uh, look at those vents, wipers, side vents, look at those beautiful lines, beautiful vents. I mean, those exhaust pipes are just too massive for that engine. That's, a, that's, that's only a 2-liter V8, those... 
I mean, I know that Italian cars are flamboyant, but look at the engine cover vents. Looks, looks. I don't know. I know that's it's a it's a basic design, but it's a it's a flamboyant basic design, which is really really cool. I like it. All right, so let's see how this thing will actually perform. That 2 liter V8 just, just sounds really good. Look at that, you can keep your foot hard down most of the time because there is not much torque and power to work with. Look at that, flat out, foot to the floor. Good. It's a safe car, it's a safe supercar. It has a V8, but it's a tiny one. Not much horsepower. Feels very, very balanced. I mean, really balanced, which is really cool. Look at that. And it's not slow. I mean, this thing moves. It's not going to be as quick as, as quick as the previous cars, but it's a fun little car. Or it's a fun little engine. The car is big, but the engine is small. Really nice drive. Doesn't feel difficult at all. That the corners flat, the drives nice, and as you can see, the time will not be impressive, but it's really fun. One minute twenty point six, so it's not going to be the quickest car here, but it's definitely one of the easiest and the mo one of the most balanced car ever because the engine is small. Uh, it doesn't have to get you know, you know super sticky tires or super super hard suspension to have fun with it. Feels normal and easy to drive, which is absolutely magnificent. I love it. It's a, it's a, it's like an entry level of a, a an Italian maybe supercar or track car. You know that you can that you can having fun cornering, cornering. You know having fun around corners without crashing it, without worrying about spinning out and crashing it, which is really unique and really, I mean really, I don't know really, how can I say it in, in plain English? Really unreal for the time because seventies. It was time for flamboyant cars that were absolutely impossible to drive, but this one is super simple. Really, really awesome. All right, let's move on with the next car. Moving on. All right. All right. So the next vehicle, it's called the Lasara Strada 350. That's the name of it. This thing has scored 270.4 total category points from its 206 horsepower, three and a half liter uh, V6 engine with mechanical fuel injection and six 0.2 seconds from 0 to 100. Now the styling of it is just absolutely awesome because uh, a lot of the cars unfortunately got disqualified because they were too old for the 70s. I mean really too old. I mean uh, really really classic looking bodies but looking at this car I mean look at it. I know it has square headlights, square indicators. Sorry, sorry not square. Sorry about, sorry about that. Looking at those circular headlights, circular fog lights and circular indicators look absolutely tremendous the side is just pretty 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 look at those those are those are look like you know i don't know what i don't know what are these they are like indicators reverse i don't know what the, what what in god's name are these but they look absolutely sick on it look at the rear look at the strada badge i mean i really really appreciate super amount of attention to details i really appreciate that I, even if the car looks old but if i see crazy attention to details i will say why not let it stay in but unfortunately i've i've seen some cars that look really old i mean i mean from the from the 50s 40s but no this one is definitely staying in because of the cool attention to details and because of how this thing actually drives look at the brake lights on the side that's an awesome oh i've seen it actually on wow look at that awesome it sounds really good looks really good loves to spin its wheels look at that look at that yeah that's why I kept it because this thing is just the money when it comes to having fun it has a powerful V6 it has a, a very very nice looking body with nice amount of details I mean, on paper and in automation game, this thing is just beautiful. 
I mean automation game it's like a piece of art when I first opened this car in automation game I was like oh another old car I need to disqualify it but when I started looking at it and looking at the details the numbers and when I drove it in Drive, you know to test it to, to you know to make sure that numbers are correct in Drive, this thing is just oh look at that I mean, I'm, I'm talking and driving it. I'm sliding, I'm drifting, and I'm just talking. It's easy. Look at that. It's super easy. It's not going to be the quickest one again, but it's one of the amazing fun cars to drive. Look at that. 1 minute 21. So it's not the quickest car hit, but it's one of the fun cars to drive. It's one of the most fun cars to drive. Look at that. 1 minute... 1 minute 15.4 still that time is unbeatable, unbeatable so far and we have tested 11 cars so we are done with 50% of the cars now we have nine cars left all right let's test them all right so the next vehicle it's called what is it in my book because it has a very very unique name all right i found it the the, the, the lusara the, Lu, the lusara simabella i think m70 I don't know if I'm correct or not. It has a very, very, very high total category points, 281.3 total category points from its 280 horsepower, 6.3 liter V12 engine running carburetors and 5.6 seconds from zero to 100. Now check out the design of this thing. Look at it, it looks super unique. Look at it, look at the front end, look at the side, look at those super wide front tires and super wide rear tires it's like a formula one tires i mean i know it's not realistic but it is the 1970s all cars of the 70s are weird and unique and crazy flamboyant especially italian cars i mean look at the miura look at i look at some of the crazy italian cars they look absolutely crazy and i mean look at it look at that rear window with those flappers or whatever they call them look at the exhaust mounted here oh absolutely crazy sounds really good looks super awesome i mean yes it has super wide tires which i'm not really sure that i mean they are uh, but they will be super functional but let's see who knows here we go here we go yeah so super sticky tires and very long gears that means yeah that's that But it's actually sticking to the road like like super glue. I mean, 1970s super glue, not 2019. I mean, in 2019, this would be considered a very 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 dangerous car. But 1970, this is like an aerial atom. Yeah, because of its very 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 wide tires. Oops, sorry, forgot to shift. Goodness. Come on, stop! Oh, goodness, this thing has. I don't know if, if it's super heavy, but the, the brakes are just. Not really, not really call awesome. Come on, come on, final stretch! Oh, very close. 1 minute 15.7. The second quickest car here. Wow, that was absolutely close for this car. Maybe, maybe if I went a little bit more cleaner with it without any spins, but I think I will, I, I will be needing a steering wheel, not a controller. Because with the controller, yes, I can control the throttle, but the steering, it's not really what you call precise with the analog stick. And yes, I think this thing can be faster than the, uh, than the prize of, of this challenge really really awesome and as you can see it's called turbo l there is no turbos in the 70s but i know he stuck a turbo badge on its name which is really cool i mean really really awesome effort good effort my my friend indeed all right let's move on to the next car all right so the next vehicle it's called the multi resist i don't know rest rest the Rezoni, something like this 264.9 total category points 248 horsepower 4.3 liter v8 engine running carburetors and 6.8 seconds from 0 to 100. Now the styling of it as you can see looks 
very 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 awesome and very very elegant i mean no flamboyance just elegant look at the lines i mean i mean look at the headlights indicators high beams pop-up headlamps everything seems within order nothing is just all over the place it's just very very elegant car look at it the rear is also very awesome very elegant very very of course very prestigious which is really really cool look at that i mean those rim those red or pink rims they are actually a bug from our machine game i don't know uh, why it does that i think because of the it is like a bug in the materials it doesn't really rec recognize steel or something like this and just paint them red yeah and i really don't want to change that i really don't want to change the colors of the rim because it's I, I just got this car as it is you will see it as as the creator did it that's why i didn't actually paint it or did anything with it but i'm i have very very high hopes for it i haven't driven it yet but i have some nice hope into this car so let's see Ooh, it's a cross plane not a flat plane v8 there are some italian cars with, co with cross plane v8s not all of them came with flat planes so because most people will say it all italian cars should have flat plane no some of them did have did come with a cross plane v8 which sounded which sounds crazy most of them are like american powered you know american I mean, italian made Italian design, but the engine is from Chevrolet or Ford or whatever, which was a nice combination. I mean, you will get rely the you know the reliability and the power from an American V8, but unfortunately, everything around it will be destroyed. Yeah, it will be rusted, destroyed, stolen, whatever, disintegrated. I love Italian cars. They are crazy. They are flamboyant. They are not reliable, they are too expensive to run, they are thirsty, really awesome. Can you imagine a Ford or a Chevrolet small block or a Chevrolet big block in a, in a 70s Italian car, that would be awesome. Listen to that V8 rumble, 1 minute 17, nice, nice, nice indeed. I mean, I don't care if this thing is, is slow or not, that V8 noise. That Italian looks just absolutely the perfect combination. I mean, I love a V12, I love a flat plane V8, but I don't know, a cross plane V8, a very, very nice sounding one, has a soft spot in my heart for it. Really nice. I mean, really awesome effort for the creator of the multi. All right, let's move on with the next vehicle. All right, so the next car is a car that I was uh, excited, that I'm really, really excited to drive because, as we all know, the name of this car is really special because this is the MyZed Sportino Trio, I think, something like this. Uh, 260.2 total category points, 398 horsepower, 5.4 liter V8, mechanical fuel injection, and 5.2 seconds from zero to 100. Now look at the styling, look at that lit beast here. Look at those amazing headlights, pop-up headlights of course, high beams, indicators, look at the MyZ badge. Again, the same error or bug in automation game that uh, you know transformed the uh, you know the plastic. Like like look look at the window trim. It's it should it should be black plastic, it's pink because it's a bug, unfortunately. The same goes look look at the I don't know what, what do they call these in English, like wheel weld or something. You know, the inside of the wheel, you know, inside of the fender. It's also pink. I don't know why. And uh, but in general, look at that beautiful styling. Look at those beautiful like rivets on those uh, wheel on the, on, the, on the wheel archers. And look at the exhaust. They look absolutely sick coming from the engine, then tilted like that. What a special design. Sport, Sportivo, Sportivo TSR, TSV. That's the name of it. I love it. Looks absolutely sick. Look at the MyZ badge. Oh yeah. Here we go. Nice acceleration. Turning in. Work is really good. Car feels uh, well balanced. As we all know, the MyZ name is not and it's not a new name we have seen and we have driven many many crazy myz creations and the myz actually created one some challenges in the past so he is not new to automation game he made some amazing looking cars in the past and this is one of them definitely one of them 
the attention to details is just brutal, which is really awesome. That's what I love about uh, the designers or card creators in the animation game that they pay extreme attention to details because it takes so much time to create something like like a truly masterpiece like this one. So the, the my Z, this one is not bad to drive really. The engine is too powerful and I think we'll be having a winner. Whoa, one minute nine twelve. One minute twelve. What a massive beast. Whoa, that is absolutely crazy. 398 horsepower, so it's more powerful than the prize car. It's uh, has a you know, I mean a very very nice sounding V8. The suspension is just amazingly well done. The brakes works, everything works, alongside of course the crazy styling of the car. That is absolutely awesome. Very, very, very nice work with the my for the my Z creator. Very, very awesome work. All right, let's move on with the next vehicle. All right, so the next car is called the Rogale Vi 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 Vipera, something like this. 256.4 total category points from its 324 horsepower, 4 liter V12 mechanical fuel injection and 5.7 seconds from 0 to 100. Now, the styling of it, as you can see, the Rogale or the Rogale looks absolutely, I mean, tremendous. Look at, how, look at those unique looking headlights with those chromy lines, vents, roof scoop, look at the side, looking absolutely awesome, V12 badge. The rear is just unique and special in its own special way. I love the uh, mid midsection, the chromy midsection, you know, like, like the engine cover or something. Look, that's, I mean, the small antenna is a modern touch, which I really don't like to see on a classic car. It's a little mistake, but I'm gonna let this one slide. And uh, generally, this car looks nice looks very very nice so as you can see so far i'm not i'm not because i'm not driving the cars according to the uh, like the, the the highest total category points and going lower no i'm driving them according to the order the, alf the alphabetical order so starting with the letter a all the way to the last car in the 20th place which should be i don't know in the i don't know what, what kind of letter but you know starting with a and going down so that's why the total category points is, you know, mixed. Sometimes I say a very large one, sometimes a very tiny one, and so on. All right, so let's see. Let's see. First corner, not bad. It's a little bit lazy. I don't know why, but it doesn't feel really, doesn't really feel that exciting. Let's see brake test. Not bad. Yeah, it feels lazy. I don't know why. I think it's heavy. I think it's heavy for the engine. Yeah, it does does actually feel heavy. It's not really that light at all. And the aerodynamics are not really what you call great. Doesn't doesn't really feel that they are actually functional. Look at that! It wants to oversteer. Wants to you know oversteer. Come on, home stretch! Come on. One minute eighteen point seven. Not bad, not bad at all. 11th place, not bad at all. Nice work. All right, let's move on with the next car. All right, so the next car, according to my book, it's called, let's see, where is it? Uh, yes, this 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 Scomodo, 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 I think, Scomodo V12, is scoring 267.4 total category points, 307 horsepower, 3.8 liter V12, running carburetors and 5.1 seconds from 0 to 100. Now the styling of this car is absolutely unique in all, in all I mean, in everything, in everything you want. I, I mean, I'm speechless. When I saw it in, for the first time in automation, you know, I thought to myself, what in God's name is that? I mean, look at the rear. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually too modern or too old. 
I really, really don't know. I mean, it looks too modern, and uh, somehow it's too, and somehow it's 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 still a classic. I don't know what what, what was the vision by. K I think it, I I don't know. I I would love to know that in the comment section below. I don't know. I mean, I, this car got me speechless when I first saw it. So I would love to know in the comment section below what do you think about it? Is it too is it too modern? Is it it's is it still a classic car? I don't know. I really genuinely don't know. So this car is Komodo V12, as I mentioned, 267. So it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not about full category points. So let's see. Acceleration, not bad. Brakes are working. Whoa, oversteer machine. Also feel feel lazy, same as the previous car. Brakes are nice. So this thing doesn't really feel sketchy, but it, it's not it's not really a car that you want to relax. No, you need to focus. It's not really a car that you can just relax and drive it quickly. No, it is a car that you really want to focus. So 1 minute 16.4. Not bad. Sixth place, not bad at all, actually. Uh, it was very, very nice to drive, but as I've mentioned, it's not really a car that you want to relax. You need to work it, you need to pay attention because a little mistake and this thing can spin out and crash. So yeah, that's a very, very noticeable thing, but in general, it's a very, very nice car to drive. All right, let's move on with the next vehicle. All right, the next vehicle, it's called the Spada Fortissimo, Fortissimo, something like this. 268 total category points, 280 horsepower, 3.7 liter V12, running carburetors and 5.8 seconds from 0 to 100. Now the starting of it as you can see also looks fi looks fine, really really fine. Look at it, it, is, it looks very very good to be completely honest with you. Pop up headlights, look at those funky high beams with indicators. I don't know, there is like a grill which I don't know, it's closed or something. Fog lights, uh, it looks very very cool, look at the, look at the rims side vent the lines the rear is also very very nice look at the spada badge and this this is the name of it the fort simo something like this awesome really awesome all right let's see nice acceleration first corner feels uh like a comfortable coupe Whoa, understeer. So this thing loves to oversteer when you let off throttle. And when you go on, on throttle, it will actually understeer. So yeah, you need to learn how to drive it. Alright, brake test. Wow, not really balanced. Alright, here we go. Floor it. Power is good. Torque is really good. But yeah, it does understeer a little bit when you are on the throttle. And if you let go the throttle, it will oversteer. So I don't know how you can stop it, but yeah, it feels, feels unique. It doesn't really feel fast, but it's definitely a, uh, a comfortable cruiser or a comfortable coupe. And it's powerful. I mean, look at that, 16.4. And I did make some mistakes. So if I go again, uh, you know, with a clean lap, maybe I can get it to 115.9. Maybe. So it's a fast car. It's not a slow car at all. So it's fast, it's comfortable, but it doesn't really feel that stable. But it's a really, really nice car to drive. I mean, if I go again, maybe 16 exactly, maybe 15.9. Who knows? But 
yes you can get it a little bit faster than this so i'm proud of this car and a really 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 nice effort my friend for creating uh, such a crazy car all right let's move on all right so the next vehicle it's called the swm uh, 999 or 998 that's the name of it gtb 265.4 total category points 302 horsepower 4.3 liter v8 uh, running dcoe carburetors and 5.6 seconds from 0 to 100. now the design of it as you can see this thing has some special and unique headlights as you can see indicators uh, we have a single wiper in the middle uh, look at that funky antenna on the roof a gtv badge on the side two vents uh, let's see look at those uh, i don't know if they are like intakes for the engine or something back there uh, a special looking engine cover which i'm familiar with yeah looks like the same intake from the mark one prize but yeah uh, as you can see the rear has some special bits to it to exhaust I don't know, it feels unique, but it has some mistakes. I mean, the car is not really 100% clean, but it looks good-ish. And uh, it, it, this guy didn't break any rules. And of course, the car um, has nice specs on paper. So let's see. Let's see if it's actually good on the track. But yeah, it's not really 100% original. It feels copied, but yeah. So acceleration cornering not bad not bad at all feels fast but it's too quiet for a supercar especially the 70s brakes not really balanced but not bad This thing loves to understeer, especially on this corner. Somehow it's grippy, but it does understeer. You need to go really slow so you don't crash. It's not bad. Fourteen point eight. That's a fast car. That's a very very fast car. Second place, as you can see, which is absolutely awesome. Really really nice. Really 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 awesome. Nice work, my friend. In performance tuning, the engine, the gearbox, the suspension feels not bad at all. Brakes are not really well balanced, but in general, this thing drives nicely. And as you can see, the time tells it's a nice nice car to drive. Good work. All right, let's move on with the next vehicle. All right, so the next vehicle, it's called the Tab Dash, uh, Tab Z Dash One. That's the name of it. Scoring 260 total category points, 254 horsepower, 3.1 liter V12, running carburetors, and 7. Point, uh, 7, 7.7 seconds from zero to 100. So it's not really the quickest car here, but it looks unique because the design of it, as you can see. I mean, look at those tiny, I don't know, high beam something slash indicators up there. I mean, uh, they look they look unique. We have pop-up headlights, uh, a front grill. The side looks uh, not bad. We have the Tab Z badge on the side, lines, vents. Uh, it's not bad at all. And look at that beautiful V12 on the, I mean, V12, right? Yeah, it's a V12, I think. So yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Again, with the uh, not really clean areas, but it's still a nice car. Look, they have Z badge. All right, let's see. Whoa, no wheel spin at all. That's why it's 7.7 .7 seconds. Because of the uh, final drive and the gear ratios. The engine is not bad, but the gearbox is just super heavy. I think the final drive is killing the fun. Maybe the gear ratios are not really not really bad, but the final drive is just too heavy on the engine to just run it. Maybe I guess, I'm guessing that. Maybe it's the opposite. So brakes, not bad. 
suspension is good, engine is not bad, gearbox ratios for the final drive are not really great. Aerodynamics works. Yeah. One minute eighteen point five five two. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Let's see, where is it? It's in the 14th place, not bad at all. Nice, nice work for the Tab Z, really cool. But in future reference, my friend, I mean, the gearbox ratios, make sure it's actually fun to drive in BMW Digital Drive because everything is just good, but unfortunately the gearbox or maybe the differential ratios are killing the fun, making the car really, really lazy. And that's why it's slow. All right, let's move on with the next vehicle. Okay, so now we are coming up to the uh, to the second before the last car, the second or the 19th place car, uh, which is of course, where is my book? Yes, the VC Labs, um, I don't know, Squillo, something like this. Uh, yeah, so this thing has scored 257.6 total category points, 172 horsepower, three liter V6 running mechanical fuel injection and 7.3 seconds from zero. 100. Now, the styling of it, as you can see, looks absolutely unique in every way. I mean, look at the body shape. I mean, we have seen this body before, but look at it with this car, the VC Labs. Yeah, look at that. It says, what? Inizione? In Inizione? I'm not really sure what does that mean, but look at the true tone color. Look at the rear. Absolutely magnificent. Oof. What a, what a car. So obviously this car is mid-engined, as you can see it has a V6, yep. So let's see, let's see how this thing performs. 6,000 RPM, that's not great, it has a heavy gearbox. But, yeah, as you can see it feels, acceleration is not really what you call super. But first corner is super stable, I mean really deadly stable. This is foot hard to floor. Hmm. Here we go, brake test. Oh, brakes are nice. There we go. Well, maybe because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going that fast. Who knows? So let's see. I like the rear. The rear just awesome. Car body, the two tone color is just. Oof. nice I'm not scared at all to drive this thing as quickly as possible but it's absolutely majestic to look at look at that car sliding like there's nothing absolutely awesome yeah it's not the quickest car here but it's deadly stable and when you lose control you will have fun 118.7 what a machine let's see where is it 16th place what a machine indeed wow all right so let's test uh, i want to test now the last car which is in the 20th place not because of the total category points no because of the alphabetical uh, you know order all right so the in the 20th place as i've mentioned for the alphabetical uh, you know order not total category points is the vichy i think vichy name that's the movie vichy mot motu what mon montu I don't know, Monte Rontino, I don't know, something like this. Monte Ron Montero Montero Tondo. I don't know. I'm 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 not really familiar with that. So yeah, my I am gonna call the Vichy to 280.1 total category points. That means it I mean look at that 280 total category points point one. Uh, 313 horsepower, 5.1 liter. Yes, my friends, 5.1 liter V12, mechanical fuel injection, and 5 seconds from 0 to 100. Now, the styling of it, as you can see, looks very, very unique. Look at those beautiful and awesome looking headlights, the grills, the very vents. Uh, look at those twin roof scoops. Uh, let's see, let's look at that side vent, which, which is like an air intake for the engine. 
I mean, this is like, I mean, to be completely honest with you, this looks like a modern rear wing, but I'm gonna let this one slide. I like the badging. Yeah, that's the name. Can you pronounce it? Monty, 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 Rot Monty Rotondo? I don't know. So yeah, let's see. Long gears. Uh, the acceleration is really nice. Oops, my, my bad. Let's try again. This thing loves to, uh, to spin out or to oversteer. Oh, we need to be really careful. Engine feels really, really awake, and it feels fast. It's not slow at all. In yeah, a straight line, this thing will actually fly. For God's sake! There we go. Again. You can't, you really can't relax when you drive it. You really need to be really, really careful. Thirteen point nine, and you can actually get it to do faster than this. Like, like you can go thirteen point five with this thing if you are really, really clean, like thirteen point four, but no more than that. But it's really, really good to drive, and but you need to be really careful. It's not really a car that you just relax and. You know have fun no this car you need to work so you can keep it steady keep it under control without spinning out or, or crash all right that's a nice effort good work my friend all right so the top 20 cars are done these are the top 20 cars and all of them are just fast brutal i mean most of them are fast brutal amazing to look at and everything is just brutal and we have established the fastest one here but now, I mean, I need to show you two extra cars, not because they are fast. No, they are not. No, they are not in the in the uh, I'm not going to time them. I mean, I'm going to drive them, but whatever time they will get, I'm not going to include it because those two cars that I'm going to show you right now are, I think, one of the prettiest cars ever in this challenge. Let me show you. All right. Starting with the first car from those two cars that I've that I've mentioned. It's, uh, let's see, what's the name of it in my book? Because it has a very, very, very special name. All right. The Cookie Monster Flying Spaghetti. That's the name of it. What a unique name. Scoring 250.5 total category points. This thing has 441 horsepower, 6.1 liter V8 mechanical fuel injection, and... 5.9 seconds from 0 to 100 now all that is good but i don't care about horsepower here this car is here because of the because of its looks because the design of this car look at the design uh those headlights or high beam whatever they call them pop-up headlights look at those hinges or something for the front trunk or something single wiper look at that roof scoop ish i don't know look at that i mean look at the roof look at those some things over there like I don't know what's that is it a sunroof is it i don't know something like plastic glass whatever a vent look at those things on the sides absolutely majestic look at the fuel filler cap the engine cover there's like there's like it's like a, there's like an intake for the engine 
looked at an intake for the engine or something on the engine cover. An antenna back there. Look at it from the rear. Look at the exhaust mounting. Flat plane V8, of course. Absolutely tremendous. All right. Let's see what 400 horsepower looks like. I mean, on paper, this thing should be the fastest one here. But who knows? Maybe the suspension is rubbish. Maybe not. The Cookie Monster, he knows how to make cars. He's not new to automation game. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really feel 400 horsepower, but it's not bad. Yeah, the brakes are sketchy a little bit. I mean, really, it doesn't really feel 400 horsepower. I, I think this thing is heavy. I think this thing has like a luxury interior or something. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't really feel the fastest one. Whoa. What about that? What about that? Oh, break, 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 break. I mean, if, even if this thing is the fastest one here, no, it's gonna, it's not gonna include, it's not gonna be included. No. Because this thing scored low category points, 250, which is really low than the than the 20th place. So 1 minute 14.8. Of course, I can get it to do much better than that, like like 1 minute 14.5 or maybe 1 minute 14. Who knows? I'm really really clean with it. So uh, it's still a quick car, but it doesn't really feel 441 horsepower. No, it doesn't really feel that. It feels like 250 horsepower or maybe 300. But no 441 and i think because this thing is heavy and the brakes are not really impressive to be completely honest with you like and i think all of that is because because of its weight yeah i think this thing is really really heavy yeah or because maybe mr cookie monster he actually tuned the engine to make tons of horsepower at you know high rpm but you know using using a camshaft that uh, will give you high horsepower that means you are sacrificing low end torque yeah i think that's the problem uh, very very low low end torque that's why this thing is not really i mean getting up to speed i mean the top speed will be awesome but the acceleration and you know the drivability around corners it's gonna be rubbish uh, other cars can actually go around corners much 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 faster than this yeah but nice effort, really, really nice effort. And this car is just here for, for its looks. And yeah, the performance is not bad at all. Nice work, Mr. Cookie Monster. And this car will be included in the vote. I'm gonna include five cars, remember that, in the, on the community tab. So don't forget to vote after you watch all the cars. All right, now moving on with the second prettiest car that I, I mean, that I ever, ever found in this challenge. I mean, yes, of course, there are some pretty cars in the top 20 cars, but this one, I don't know. I when I looked at it, I couldn't resist in uh, you know in, in of course included in the video. I mean this thing doesn't really have very high category points at all, but I just love the look of it because this is the Monza Milli Megila, something like this. I don't know. 223.5 total category points, as I've mentioned, not too much. 275 horsepower, 4 liter V8, mechanical fuel injection, 6.5 seconds. I mean the numbers are not really that great, but look at the styling look at those beautiful amazing looking headlights and fog lights look at the vent here on the on the hood or trunk whatever they call it i mean look at that look at that vent over there wipers window washers side mirrors look at those indicators on the side and those vents the rims the rim color look at those vents on the side similar to the price similar to the monaco and look at the engine cover absolutely magnificent you can you can actually see the uh, see the, the the intake see the intake actually for the for the other for the mechanical fuel injection you can actually see them here absolutely tremendous and look at look at the fuel filler cap i think or maybe the oil filler cap not really sure you look at the monza badge the name is actually very very awesome look at the exhaust look at the badging mili Megila, something like this i don't know another badge here absolutely tremendous look at the, look at the aerodynamical features up top just magnificent let's see how this thing will actually perform oh, let's do that cross plane oh. my goodness 
goodness. I love the eighth fumble. It's not gonna be the fastest one here, but it's definitely. Look, listen to that VA. Oh. I would drive this every day. But of course, it's Italian, that means you can't drive it every day. It will rust and it will get destroyed. So the brakes are not bad. Suspension is good, tires are good, e ratios, not bad. Engine noise, oh, very good. Engine noise, yes, but engine torque, not that much. Look at that, on oh, 3000 RPM, sounds really good. Monza for the win, not really. What about that? Mischiefed. 1 minute 21.19. Yes, our point 0.019. So, yeah, it's not the quickest one here. It's in the 21st place, which is not really what you call the quickest one. No, not, not at all. But it's one of the prettiest cars I've ever seen in this challenge. I mean, I've seen crazy cars. So, this thing has scored 1 minute or 1 minute point 21.19. One nine, which is really cool. It's not the quickest one at all, but it's one of the greatest looking cars in this challenge. One of them, which is absolutely crazy. And it will be, of course, included in the vote on the community tab. Yeah, so don't forget to check out the voting. All right, we have tested all the cars, all the top 20 cars, all and both of those special cars. But now I want to drive the Mark II, uh, the Monaco Mark II, and see if it can actually be quicker than the previous, uh, than the Mark I or not of course it's the super version so let's see all right so this is the monaco mark ii which is the prize for the winner of this challenge of course now this car has a 3.5 liter supercharged uh, v12 manual gearbox has all the amazing things that you want the, the looks the performance i think ish now we'll be finding out about the performance and uh, everything everything you ever need in, a, in an italian supercar which will be of course the, as i've mentioned the prize for the winner of the challenge so let's see 350 horsepower Ooh, sounds like a rocket ship Brakes are not really what you call nice, but oh, this is that supercharger. Just awesome. So it's a little bit faster than the than the Mark One, as you can see. The Mark One was one minute fifteen point four. This is one minute fifteen point one, as you can see. Although I don't know, in automation game, it doesn't really feel that understeery. But yeah, in BMW Drive, it does understeer a little bit. So maybe if I go again, maybe I can get it to one minute fifteen exactly. Maybe I don't know if some miracle happened, it can it can go to fourteen point nine but no more than that. So yes, as you can see, we have we have our winner. So congratulations to this, uh, to the MyZeeds, uh, what, Sportino, Trio, something like this, uh, car, uh, car creator, of course, for winning the 1970s uh, Super Beauty Car Italian Challenge 
ish that's the name of it i think so yeah congratulations for winning it your car is looking absolutely tremendous and it's the quickest car here scoring one minute 12 uh, seconds on the short circuit in of course in automation game which is the by far the quickest car and the and i think one of the most beautiful cars ever in this challenge which is absolutely crazy congratulations of course on winning the mark ii uh monaco which is absolutely tremendous congratulations of course I'll, I'll be sending this car or i'll be sending you the link to download this car on discord congratulations and of course thank you for participating enjoy it and don't forget to send some screenshot when you actually drive it and of course to tell me how what what's the experience when you drive it absolutely tremendous congratulations my friend all right so now uh we have picked the winner but we have another prize which, which is of course another winner another winner will get of course the a copy of the of the uh, monaco mark ii also which is the prettiest car of this challenge so uh, i'm not gonna pick the prettiest car you the viewers will of course will pick that go to my channel on the community tab you will find a vote with the five names of the five of the prettiest car and this uh, prettiest cars in this challenge so you can vote on the one that you think is the prettiest the first vote goes to we have the cookie monster the cookie monster that's the one super spaghetti i don't know monster something like this that's the name of it this is the looks of it as you can see it has a uh, i don't know i forgot what's the engine in it yes it has a 6.1 liter v8 441 horsepower as you can see with its uh, purple pink or purple color looks absolutely tremendous golden rims really really awesome this is the cookie monster the first vote goes to it the second vote goes to this one the the, the fornasari the fornasari i think which is a very very amazing looking car pop-up headlights nice amount of details the badging are looking very very awesome look at the tail lights everything is just looking looking very very awesome so the fornasari according to my book uh, has a 320 horsepower 6 liter v12 engine so it has a massive engine up front the third vote goes to the vc labs vc labs uh, this thing has a 172 horsepower 3 liter v6 as you can see it has this special two-tone color special badging on the side the rear is just looking magnificent look at look at the rear I mean, just looking absolutely a beautiful side vents on the side. Just amazing. I love it. Uh, and we have, of course, the fourth vote, which, of course, goes to the Monza. That's the name of it. This thing is called the Monza Milli Megila. Has a 275 horsepower, 4 liter V8. And uh, amazing, breathtaking front end. Amazing attention to detail. Sounds really good. Look at the engine cover see-through glass and chromey bits in there fuel for the cap and the, the most amazing place and look at the badging melee megila absolutely awesome sounds really good and looks really good all right and the final vote goes to this one which is the spada i think yeah the spada for for i don't know for for what Fortesino for Fortesino i don't know 280 horsepower 3.7 liter v12 running carburetors looks tremendous as you can see with its special rims uh special rear look look at the rear it's just elegant nothing we to talk about just elegancy and i mean just simple elegant cool to look at and amazing to drive that's why i, I went with the spada with the fifth vote so my friends like, don't forget to hit that thumbs up get subscribed share the video if you want to share it so thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to check out my patreon page the link in the description below because your support means the world to me your support and by signing up you will be of course supporting this channel and you can you can of course download all of my crazy special cars but not viewers cars because these cars belongs to the viewers if you want to download one of those cars to your game you need to contact the viewer on uh, on my discord the link in the description below for my discord contact them and if they want if they accept they can give you the car but if you want to download all of my special crazy bmg cars like the prize of this challenge which is of course the uh, the uh, mark ii or the the fastest car in automation game which can do 720 horse 720 kilometers per hour with a 4500 horsepower engine all these crazy creation creations superchargers all that crazy nonsense is on my patreon page and as i've mentioned by signing up you will be supporting this channel and giving me more motivation to do more challenges and uh, you know more amazing videos like this one and even more cooler than this one 
And of course, if you love the channel even more and you want to support the channel even more, you can of course purchase a t-shirt on, on my BN shop, a t-shirt, a phone case, an apron, whatever, all these things are available. And of course, as I've mentioned, by purchasing something or by signing up to our Patreon page, you will be you will be getting an absolutely the most and the biggest thanks for me for supporting this channel and for giving me more motivation to do more and more. So thank you, thank you so much, guys, for watching. You are really awesome, and thank you so much for participating and for your amazing support and for your patience, of course, because these videos take really really long time to make and to edit. But I'm really really appreciated for every any every one of you. Uh, so don't forget to watch my previous videos over here, get subscribed over here, and I will see you very very soon with more videos, and goodbye for now, my friends.